Hello, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, my beautiful air signs. I'm so happy to be doing this reading for you. So let's get started. Okay, so I pulled your Starman Tarot cards, which I'm gonna jump into now. The three cards for the theme of your reading today are Judgment, Ace of Wands, and Prince of Cups. This gives me chills all over. You're like Gordon Gecko from Wall Street. That's an old movie. But I just feel like you're inviting something in and like you are the catalyst for this happening. You are the movement that it needs. You can discern like what the next step is. You're a master negotiator. Like there's this feels very businessy. Like you're all business right now. You're like a walking mullet, <laughs> business in the front, party in the back. But what I felt before, when I was, sorry about my face, but what I felt before the reading, when I was like meditating over the cards, I felt like there was this elephant coming in. And when I went in closer to the elephant to see like what that energy was all about, it was actually Eeyore, the gray donkey from Winnie the Pooh. And I just felt like, are you stuck in a rut? Are you, do you feel like gloomy? Has it been a rainy day? I just feel like I want to give you, a, I'm sending you a virtual hug because are you stuck in your energy? Don't worry about it because the cards that are coming through are like you are actually about to like step into something that's gonna, where you are needed. You specifically are needed for this because you are, the catalyst. You're the thing that's going to get it going. You're that little spark of energy that's going to lift something off the ground. Lift me up. You lift me up. Okay. I don't know where that came from, but don't, you know, don't worry about it being rainy. If it feels rainy right now, don't worry about it feeling rainy. Just put your umbrella up and hang tight because something's happening. Something's gonna move. It might be slow and purposeful like that elephant, but something is gonna move forward. I just heard all these rain songs coming in and you know what's gonna make you feel better? Oh my gosh, horse spirit. But also, if you just think to yourself that Martha Wash song, it's raining rain men, hallelujah, it's raining rain men, rain rain amen. Rain amen. Cause that's gonna, <laughs> That's gonna, even if it's raining, you don't have to worry. You've got the umbrella. You can be in your feelings, feel your feelings, let yourself be there, but just know that at the end of the day, it's raining men. Hallelujah. Um, so we have, okay, so we have some stuff coming out from the spirit animals. I just kind of jumped into that. Like, sorry, I feel like I was chatting and then I jumped into the spirit animals without bringing you in. Here we are, welcome. So we have horse spirit, number 33. 33 master number, go Google it. Horse spirit freedom is yours. And what I feel from this horse spirit card is that like, yes, freedom is yours, but it's okay if you need to have your head down for a little bit. Like it's okay if you need to be looking at where your next step is. Like that, as long as you're out of your cage, even if your head has to hang down a little bit, you're still free. Okay, so even if you're in the Eeyore spot, I'm sending so much love to you. Like that judgment card, his hands were out like this. So I'm laser beaming love to you. But even if your head has to be down a little bit, that's okay. You don't always have to be galloping with your head and like your hair flowing in the wind. Like it's okay to be purposeful and be looking at where you're, where you need to step next. Then we have coyote spirit, truth in divine detours. Trust in divine, de I can read. Trust in divine detours. So I feel like this is also saying like, even if it doesn't feel like, oh, this is cool. Even if it doesn't feel like you are moving quickly enough, like don't worry, wherever the path is taking you is where the path is supposed to be taking you. So just trust that you're gonna come back to where you need to be. And then we got number 35, koala spirit, Spirit has a plan. So it's freedom is yours, trust in the detours, there's a plan. Okay, so like, is this, is this sinking in that like this is a direct story for you? Like you're already free, 
you, the path may be winding, but there's a plan. There's a divine structure to this, so you don't have to worry. Also, I noticed that the numbers on these cards, I don't necessarily feel like it's the actual animals on the cards right now. It's the message on the bottom and it's the numbers on the top because the numbers in succession go six, seven, eight. And I just feel like that's like, you're moving in the, the right succession. You're moving in the right procession. You're moving in the right direction. How many more rhymes can I make? I don't know. Turn off the light and I'll go to the extreme like a mic, like a vandal. Light up a stage like a trump, like a candle. Dance. All right. Ice, ice, baby. Ooh. Are you cold as ice? You're as cold as ice. All right. We got divine feminine here. I am singing a lot today. <laughs> I feel like I'm on some type. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right. You are super protected. Look at the look at just the colors of these two cards. You've got the gold in the middle and the red all around. Do you see other like twin cards? I feel suddenly like this is a love connection for you. Like you keep feeling like and I usually don't do like specific love readings, but I feel very strongly that this is coming through. That I think this is actually about either a love relationship that you're feeling like has fizzled out a bit or like that you keep playing phone tag or like it's just not launching. Like you want so badly, your heart's sick. Like you want so badly for this love. What's love got to do? You want this love to like take off and there's something that keeps like holding you back or you're missing the call or like you send a text and the other person doesn't see it for 10 hours and you're going like, oh, they don't like me. This is all unfolding exactly as it should. And it may feel like heartache, but there's a, I'm hearing like there's a lesson and a message in every single minute that you're waiting. Okay. And it's so funny because it's just like we always say and it's such a cliche but it's like hindsight is 2020 there will come a point on your journey where you're going to look back at this time and be like oh i get it i understand now exactly why this could not take off at that time on that date when i really wanted it to i had to learn this this and this or like this this all i just keep hearing like this this and this so i feel like it's a three thing like this this and this had to happen in order for this to then launch or this this and this like something about like there are three things three things that have to happen this sounds so specific to me so like i hope it's resonating for you but there's three things that have had to happen or have to happen in order for this to go forward but it's like you have the discernment you know it's the right person or the right time you know that that it's all right it's just that that there's that thing that's missing and i think you're the catalyst for this spark to ignite but it's like you need to give it space and room to grow and then when it's at the right place you're going to be able to spark it but you're going to know exactly like trust the plan trust the detours trust this holding pattern because there's some you each are being made better for the relationship during this interim time. So just trust that like this is happening for, for everybody's greatest good. Like the relationship is going to be so much better if you can just like hold on and let what needs to grow and incubate grow. So the thing that brought this through also is that with your divine feminine, we got the cosmic egg, which is the whole shebang. Like the cosmic egg is the divine feminine. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of ever expanding love. And then Hestia, the goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. I'm getting chills. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. So I feel like you're not being, oh, wow. Wow. I just need to stop for a second because that's powerful and I don't want to glaze over it. Hestia is like the goddess of the household. She's the goddess of your hearth and home. And she's saying, you may have felt like you were stuck in the dungeon for a while, but where does the dungeon exist? In the castle, right? So just trust that like with this horse spirit, the doors to the dungeon are open. There's a reason that you're there right now. 
There's something that you need to go through in order to actually become aware that that door to the dungeon has been open for you. And it's only when you're able to realize that that you're able to walk out and go up the stairs and be in the main hall of the castle and be like, oh, that's right. I'm the king. I'm the queen. I'm the royal. I belong here. I don't belong down in the dungeon. I belong up here in the main hall where I sit on my throne and where I claim my consort, where I can live in this divine love. And I do feel, but I feel very strongly that this is incubating. That's why you're stuck in this Eeyore energy for now, or where you're, you feel as though you're stuck in the Eeyore energy where you're like, why, why can't I just get the love? Why can't I just get this off the ground? But <clears throat> it's raining men, honey. You will get it off the ground. You're incubating it. You're letting it come to its full maturity so that way you don't move in together too soon, or you don't meet someone's mom too soon or you don't like I just feel like there's this rush to do something really big in the relationship that you that the relationship is the relationship itself between you is too immature to handle and I don't mean that you're immature or your partner's immature but it's something like the relationship needs to withstand these three lessons or however many lessons, but I keep hearing three. This could also be a timekeeper, like three weeks, three months, three years. Like there's something about three, or maybe there's three of you, but there's something about the relationship about three things need to happen or three things need to go by, or you need to withstand three tests or go through three portals. Like there's something about the relationship needing to evolve and grow and become a place that can, a vessel that can hold the energy that you and this other person have for each other if that makes sense it just feels very solid like that there's there is a progression for this love relationship but it's gonna actually it's gonna need your your full focus in order to come up okay i'm gonna pull a wisdom of the oracle okay that's the one that wants to come all right yeah come to the edge number 36 you're coming this is letting me know like you're coming to the end of this cycle. You're near the you're near the edge of the cycle. Um, but I feel like there's something that you need to forgive or you need to bless that's in your past. There's something calling out to be blessed and I feel like it's almost like a bride going down the wedding aisle where you have like a flower girl giving like throwing the rose petals in front of the bride to like bless her path. And I feel like that's what's happening, but in reverse. It's like you need to turn around and like forgive something from your past or release it, or you need to bless something from your past and say like, you have my blessing, go on. There's something about releasing or breaking something off from the past. Also, fork in the road, number 13, that's a four. Um, I feel like you've, you're have you coming to that fork in the road now where you're really needing to decide which way you wanna take this. And so go back into that cosmic egg, ask the divine feminine to help you. Be more contemplative as opposed to pushing or moving forward. So that's those are the messages that are coming through. This is really strong reading. Like I said, I don't usually do love readings, but that's the way it evolved and came through. And it was like, you need to talk about love. So I hope that this resonated for you. I send you all of my love. I'm blessing your relationship. I really hope that you find the happiness that you want within you, but also in the divine plan of love for you. And I'll see you next time. I love you with all my heart. Bye, air signs. Thank you.